G'day. I've recently uh, geared my lathe up to do 4000 RPM instead of its normal 3000 RPM. This is it running at 4000 RPM. It's quite smooth, it's not too bad. But I thought I'd have a look around to see if there were any vibration apps I could use on my phone. I've got a light meter, I've got a decibel meter, all sorts of things. And sure enough I found something that I've been using and found quite useful. This is the setup, the iPad's in its cover. Um, they said not to uh, take it out of its cover particularly, it might knock it around. And it's very hard to hang on to so I was happy to leave it in there. And it makes very little difference. I did a couple of readings bare and with the cover on, hardly any difference. So, I 4000 RPM with no chuck on. That's the reading that the software gave me. Then I put the chuck on in its usual position. The two zeros and this is the reading that I got. I don't understand any of these figures. I'm just going on the little picture that it's drawing for me. I then rotated the chuck 60 degrees on the spindle and got this, which to me looked better because uh, more of the squiggly lines were in the centre of the graph. I rotated it another 60 degrees, so it's a 420 from where it was, and this was the reading, which doesn't look as good as the last one. There's the three of them compared. You can see position two is definitely looking better than the other two, so that'll be the new position for the chuck. So after this I thought, um, might try something else. Might see if the jaws are actually in their right places. So, um, working on this new best position, I put jaw number one in slot number two and went around with the jaws. And then I did number one in number in slot number three. Well, this is the reading that we got with jaw one in slot two. And you can see it's a bit wiggly. And then we did jaw one in slot three. Um, and this is the reading that we got with that. A bit wiggly again. And here we have a comparison with the three side by side. And you can see the first one is best. So TOS definitely know what they're doing which I'm glad of because I've got a fair bit of their stuff. But yeah, there's a fair difference there. The jaws are where, the jaws should be where TOS meant them to be. So I also did a reading of uh, 3000 RPM in the new chuck position compared with 4000 RPM and look at the difference. Definitely likes 3000 RPM. Now I'd like to know if 4000 RPM is going to beat my lathe to death. If you know or you know someone who might know and you can send this on to them, I would much appreciate it if they could give us an opinion. Thank you for watching.